A man who was in a coma for 12 years says that he was able to hear and see everything. He was aware of everything as he was in this coma. Now, this is Martin Pistorius, and uh, about 12 years ago, he uh, suffered from what doctors believe was cryptococcal meningitis. And as a result of that, he started losing uh, a lot of his physical abilities. Uh, according to reports, he was unable to do things like speak, he was unable to move, he was paralyzed. And so for a really long time, his parents had to take care of him, they had to dress him, and he was basically in a vegetative state. But even though he seemed as though he was in a vegetative state, he could understand everything and he was aware of everything. And believe it or not, he actually got better to the point where he's able to talk now. So, um, amazing parts of the story. For the first, he says for the first two years, he did not know what was yeah. happening, right? But about two years into the coma, he started snapping out of it. But not out of it as in he couldn't control his body, he couldn't speak, but he could hear and see everything, yep. right? So one of the amusing parts of the story is he said, since they didn't know that that was the case, they would put all these children near his bed and have them watch children's television. He's like, I can't tell you how much I, can't, I hate Barney. <laughs> okay, he's like, he's, he's trapped inside this body and he's thinking, please make the Barney stop. All oh my right. God, can you imagine, like, being a prisoner in your own body like that, yeah. where you understand and you're aware of everything that's going on around you, but you can't physically do anything about it. Yeah, so now, uh, at this point, uh, as um, they explain here on Fox uh, 4KC, uh, Martin is able to talk again, he used a computer to speak, and is mobile with a wheelchair, and his awareness has fully returned. Um, and, and he says, look, everyone uh, was so used to me not being there that they didn't notice when I began to be present again. Now here comes a super sad part of the story, but, but don't judge the mom too much, I'm gonna tell you the context in a second. He says, sadly, Martin also heard his mother tell him, I hope you die. Okay, now you think, oh no, that's terrible, and the parents are terrible. No, 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 it's the exact opposite. First of all, in that case, he says, she was saying it in the context of, she thought he was in such misery pain, and yeah. pain that she wanted that to end for him and she felt terrible for him, right? Now wait till you find out what the parents had been doing all along. Every morning his father would get up at 5 a.m., dress Martin and take him to the care center. At the end of the day, he'd get him from the center, give him a bath, feed him dinner, and put him to bed. Mm -hmm. Now that's his 12-year-old boy that went into that coma, okay? His parents set an alarm to go off every two hours to turn body, Martin's body so he wouldn't get bed sores. Every two hours, every night. And in the end, they had faith that he would get out of that coma, and amazingly, unbelievably, he did. Mm -hmm. It is a great, great story of hope and hope fulfilled. So it's good to have a positive story. And so all the credit in the world to his parents, and uh, and relieved that now people know yeah. that he's back and they're a happy family again. Yeah, nothing touches my heart more than parents like that. It makes me think of my own parents and like how lucky some people are to have a family like that. <sighs> Every morning at 5 a.m. Yeah, and you and you, oh, they're amazing, man. World's greatest parents.